One second. That's all it takes. One second after an EMP goes off, the world doesn't explode. It flatlines. Civilization? Pulled from the socket like a toaster in a bathtub. It's called an electromagnetic pulse. It doesn't topple skyscrapers, doesn't make mushroom clouds. It goes for the jugular. Electricity. Your phone? Dead. Your car? A useless $30,000 lawn ornament. Your fridge? Just a coffin for your leftovers. Not because they broke, but because millions of invisible volts just flash fried their silicon guts. Circuits sizzle, chips crisp, wires melt like cheese on a pizza stone. The world doesn't crash, it stops breathing. Lights vanish, calls die. This isn't a blackout, it's a reset. And the cruelest twist? Most of our critical infrastructure, from hospitals to satellites, was never designed to survive this. The system can't be rebooted in a day or a week. It could take months, maybe years. And in that silence, society eats itself. Four hours in, your fridge warms. Congratulations, you've got lukewarm milk. Two days in, your food rots into apocalypse casserole. By day five, clean water is gone, and so is hope. Here's the kicker. EMP weapons aren't sci-fi, they're real. One detonation high above the atmosphere could silence a continent faster than you can say, Alexa, order toilet paper. Okay, stop screaming into the dead iPhone. Here's what to do in the first 72 hours. Hours zero to six, water. Fill every container you own before pumps fail. Bathtub, fill it. Buckets, fill them. Neighbor's kiddie pool, borrow it. And light, flashlights, candles, even that crusty one from your junk drawer. Hour six to 24, food lockdown. Eat perishables first. That ice cream, breakfast in cash. ATMs are dead, but paper money still bribes desperate neighbors. Day two to three, purify water, boil it, filter it, use a t-shirt if you have to, and defend your stash. People get twitchy fast. By day three, your neighbor isn't Steve. He's Steve, the guy eyeing your last can of beans. Plan an exit. Cities go feral. If you've got somewhere rural to run, do it before the highways look like zombie anthills. This is the Sketchopolis. The monsters aren't claws and fangs, they're invisible, humming in the sky. Electricity built our world, but when it dies, so do we. Want more survival science? Or do you prefer to die confused? Subscribe.